Hi, this is Jacob with PCTechGuide.com, and today we're going to be talking about how to back up your computer, uh, specifically how to back up Windows 10. I'm going to be on a Windows 7 computer here, but it works the exact same, and I'll kind of walk you through my process of, of what I recommend most people use. Now, if you're looking for a 100% free method, it, it, you know, you can go that route. It's not going to be supported. It's not the route I recommend I go through. I'm going to talk about some free data backup tools too as well. But uh, let's take a look at kind of my setup of how I have it going so you get get familiar of how, you know, those, those who are more professional back up their data, which is, you know, it's your data, right? It's important to you. So so I recommend you you spend the money and do it right. So first here I have my C drive. You're going to see, yeah, it's almost full and I need a, need a bigger hard drive there. So I have an SSD drive here, it's just 120 gigs, and that would be my C drive. Now for most people, your C drive is gonna be your default drive in which Windows is gonna be installed on. That's pretty much across the board of how it is. Now, what I recommend you do is you use an image backup software. And uh, in this case, I have Nova Backup. That's what I've been using for a number of years now. Uh, it only gets better with each new edition it's gotten a lot easier to use and I'll kind of walk you through my settings of how I use that. And when I say an image backup, what I'm referring to is backing up this entire drive. So it's going to take a snapshot of everything on the C drive. So all the my documents, your pictures, all the programs that are installed. So if that C drive crashes, it's not a matter of, oh, i just going to pull my pictures or this or that. No, I get everything, all my programs that are installed. So if I have Office, if I have any games, if I have any specialized software uh, installed for my business, anything I have is going to be backed up um, with a full image backup. So I'm kind of taking a snapshot of everything on the C drive, and then I'm then taking that copy, and it's very important you don't put it on the C drive, uh, you put it on another drive, and you're going to see that I got three external drives right here that I'm using. Well, one of them is external, the F drive is. The other two are inside my PC itself. But I just bought, you know, for 100 bucks, I bought a, a um, external drive, and I'm backing up everything to my F drive. So if the C drive crashes, I have my full backup right here on my F drive, and there it is right there. It's called My Media. And we're going to see that it's it's roughly 47 gigs. So it's about a third or less than a third of a, of what it what the actual size of the drive is. Let me go back over. So again, what I'm doing is I'm copying everything here on the C drive over to the F drive. And it's all done automatically. I scheduled it for once a week. And I'll walk you through those settings here in just a second. First, I'll reiterate the reason for doing it is because I just don't want, you know, my just my pictures, right? I want everything. If it goes down, you know, I can run out to the store, I can buy a new hard drive, slap it in, uh, install, uh, use the boot disk that, that Nova Backup has for me. I can boot to that disk, I can point to this F drive, say clone it, and, you know, uh, from going to the store, installing the hard drive, and I'll be up and running in like an hour and a half and it'll be as if nothing ever happened. So I can carry on with my day and my work day and not have to worry about anything. And for me, you know, that's worth a lot of money. And, and you know, I've done data recovery numerous times for people. Sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not. And, and most people don't have these image backups. Have the image backup. I just had a friend whose PC went down. He lost everything everything because he wasn't even backing it up you know via the cloud or anything which I'll talk about because I don't want you just to use an image backup I want you to use a secondary backup too as well that's that's uh, um, online so this is the first line of defense and this is going to be an offline data backup so we're doing a full image backup to another hard drive that you have you could run out to Best Buy or go to Amazon buy an external hard drive hook it up uh, install Nova backup and you're good to go. You got your image drive taken care of. So it's image. You're good to go. You never have to worry about it. Now, let me cover some of the settings that I use with Nova Backup. And so the recent, recent job was just done on 319 2017. I stopped this one. This one had an error. It's going to happen. But uh, I'll just run you through kind of, kind of the setup. So first, I'm going to go to backup. I'm going to tell it what I want to backup. And right here, all I did is I just selected the C drive. So I just select the C drive, and basically it's going to take everything on my C drive. That's what I want. I want that full backup to go. 
then I go ahead and I get, click the uh, backup to, and I choose the media where I want to backup it to, and I so chose the F drive, my media. So again, that's the external drive that I have hooked up on my system. In case I have to, you know, leave my house for some reason for an extended period of time, maybe there's going to be a fire, maybe maybe there'll be a flood when I'm gone, something. I can just take my external media either with me, uh, hand it over to a friend's house, something like that, so I have that full image backup. So I'm good, or, you know, if I'm paying for cloud storage, I can just upload it to the cloud too as well, fairly easily. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and cover uh, schedule. You know, I recommend you do the schedule. Go ahead and set up for weekly. Uh, that's what I re would recommend. And, and you know, the time, you, you know, depending upon uh, when you don't use the computer, you don't want it backing up when you're on it. So just leave it on overnight, you know, on a Saturday, set it up for every Saturday. That way, you know, okay, I'll just leave my computer on on Saturday. And then you're going to have your, you know, run as a specific user, which I recommend, you know, just put in your username and password uh, to run it as an admin on the system. And then getting over to the good part, we're going to go under settings. And under settings here, I usually select compress the backup file so it's smaller. I have it so it's going to verify the backup afterwards. I want it to, uh, I don't want it to automatically eject media at the end of the job because it's not a CD or anything I'm backing up to. I do have enable open file backup, so if a file's open, it can still back it up. And then backup empty folders. So, you know, I just want everything, right? And then once again, there's my destination. And here you have the type that you're going to do. So I choose generally overwrite media. If you do append to media, the problem you're going to have there is it's automatically going to append. Uh, to the next of it and your drive will fill up. I just overwrite it. I mean chances of something going wrong while it's being overwritten are fairly small so I wouldn't worry too much about that. So I choose the overwrite media and then right here for the backup mode I choose uh, incremental backup. So here are the choices you have full, incremental, differential, or snapshot. Uh, you can browse through each and every one of these. I don't want to make the video too long, but I choose incremental. And it's what this is going to do it's, it, is it's going to, it backs up selected files that have changed since the last backup and marks them as backed up. So it only copies over, it, this basically it makes it go a lot faster. Once you do that initial backup, it might take an hour or two hours or three hours, depending upon how big your hard drive is. But once it does that, uh, the next time around, it's just going to look through and say, okay, did any of these files change? Nope, I'm not going to back them up. Oh, okay, these, you know, 700 files changed. I'll just back up these. And so it goes a lot quicker, and it's great and makes it nice and fast. So I choose the incremental backup. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and go over, over to notification, and this is cool. So you can just go into and select email settings. And then right here, you just put in, okay, use the Nova Backup Alerts, put in your email address right there. And what's going to happen is, is once a week, you're just going to get an email if you schedule it for once a week. If you schedule it for every day, you'll get an email every day. I do it for once a week. And what happens is, is, is when I uh, go back to my computer on Monday, it, it, you know, I, I, there's an email in my inbox saying, hey, it's been backed up either successfully or not successfully, generally successfully, and I'm good to go. So that way I always know, okay, it's being backed up. I don't have, you know, it's something I can just look for. I don't have to look at my computer or, or wonder, oh, is it working? Is it not working? So I really, really like this, and I recommend you set uh, it up just like that. Now, I do have a far more in-depth review that I did. So if you go to the PCTechGuide.com website, just look in the description below. So in the description below, I have links going to our data backup software, so all the reviews that we've done on data backup software. And then I have a link going directly to the Nova backup review. And I, like I said, I've been a fan of Nova for quite a while. It's, it's pretty much one of the number one recommended data backup programs that I've recommended over the years. And it's good. It'll do the job for you. And, and get you what, what you need to get. So uh, moving on here, uh, let's quickly talk about the other types of backup that I do. So the other things that, that I recommend you can try out here is going to be uh, the remote data backup. And that's important just in case something happens to both your, your, your on-site computer and the backup drive at the same time. We're talking fire, we're talking theft, we're talking water damage, uh, electrical surge, and you know, surge protector, something crazy, right? Well, I always recommend that that 
you can open up free accounts at dropbox.com. You can open up free accounts at Google Drive. Uh, you can also open up free account uh, over on um, um, Live. Google. So on OneDrive Live, it's going to be OneDrive.Live. Just Google OneDrive, Google Dropbox, Google uh, Google Drive, and it'll all come up for you. And you can create accounts, and generally on all of them, they're going to allow you like up to five gigs. And from there, all you have to do is just set it up, install the software, and just say, okay, I want to back up my documents, my music, my pictures, something along those lines. And, and you know that way you're backing up the files that you use the most or your pictures or something that that means something to you and all these sites will give you a certain amount of gigs for free uh, that you get a backup now if you want you could also pay so if you pay for them um, what you're able to do is you're able to back up more so you know you might be able to back up 200 gigs or 300 gigs of data and if you do it that way that's great you can just do you know the same type of backup just set it up to back up those you can also go in and say okay you know what back up my image backup and so that way you're just pointing to that one big file and just say okay just keep this one backed up and in that manner you're you're always going to have your image backed up online which is fantastic and if you're a, a business and you actually have a lot of uh, files that okay if I lose this my business could go under you know think about that for a second if you're a real estate agent or something like that and you were to lose all your things would you know how, how bad would that be for you and you know if you have a lot of baby pictures how bad would that be for you so I, I really recommend you do both so you have your image backup and then you know depending upon if you're if you're a business yeah I would pay for something like Dropbox Google Drive or OneDrive Live and set that up so you can back up your image backup um, otherwise you can you know if, if you want to be cheap and, and you're like well I don't care if my PC crashes I'll just buy a new hard drive I don't care about my programs I'll reinstall them but I really want my pictures backed up well that's the, you know that's what these are for right and they they can do a great job of just backing up your pictures uh, if you have like an iPhone or something like that you can use iCloud too as well and so there's a number of other services out there just for your phone too as well if you're interested in those you can go visit the app store there's plenty of stuff there so that's going to be it for this guide I hope it helps and if you have any questions just feel free to ask happy to answer them